Okay, good evening. Um, just wanted to show you our incubator. We're about 12 hours before putting some quail eggs in here, so we've just got it on warming up, so it'd be a great opportunity now to, to show you uh, what we've got. So we've got a polystyrene box. It's roughly about two foot long by about a foot wide and a foot high. And there's two small peep holes that are cut into the box. And then if we come to the top, we'll see our first major component, which is this thermostatic relay. So what we've got here is we've got a low temperature and a high temperature. If the temperature drops below that low temperature, it turns on the relay. If it goes above that temperature, then it turns off the relay. And of course, we've got connected to that relay, we've got a lamp. Uh, and that bulb obviously uh, generates some heat when it goes up to 38 like it is now in a second it's going to knock that uh, bulb off and temperature will drop so it maintains a pretty constant 37 degrees now I've taken a few retakes of this video uh, and I must admit I've, uh, I've messed it up a bit but it stays at a pretty constant 37 degrees so that's the uh, thermostat relay and that really could actually work with just one bulb so if we attach the one bulb to that that would actually make a, an, a make an incubator. However, what the what we've got there is we'd have a permanently flashing on and off light, which might not be an issue, but it may be when they hatch. But the biggest problem is if we have a failure with that light, if the bulb blows, for example, then obviously we lose all our uh, all our heat and the temperature will totally uh, drop. So what we've got as well is we've got a 12 volt bulb here, which we have permanently on. And we've got it permanently on uh, and set. We've got it set, hooked up to this dimmer switch. Let's focus that. We've got it permanently set, hooked up to this dimmer switch, and we've found that if we have it at this position, which obviously it, which is marked as on, but actually this this dimmer will actually go further than that, or the the bulb will go brighter than that. If we have it to this position, then it holds the temperature at about 36 degrees C. Now that's lower, of course, than we want. But what that does mean is that it provides a constant lighting and also what it means is that if we do have an issue with that bulb then at least we don't lose all our temperature it just drops back to 36. Now that might be that might be a, a huge problem uh, and we might totally lose our eggs there but at least we've got a chance and it's not dropping uh, dropping right down. Okay so let's uh, lift off the lid I'm just going to pause the video now I'm going to lift off the lid and we'll have a look at what's inside. Okay, so the temperature is currently 37, the relay's off, so what we should find in a minute when I, when I lift this lid up is that the, the 12 volt light's always on and the temperature now is obviously going to drop massively because we've got the lid open and in any second now that relay's going to kick in and it's going to turn the light back on again which is obviously going to start heating up the box. So that's the, uh, that's the inside of the box, the two lights. Like I say, the 12 volt light on the left hand side there's always on, and it's the right hand light that, that gets uh, tripped on and off. We have some wire in that I'm just gonna tidy up actually um, after this video, some of that just needs pinning back. Uh, and then we've got a fan as well just to, to circulate the air. Inside our box, we've got this little tray, and this little tray has a handle coming outside and what we can do there is we can very bit of a crude method of just pushing the eggs basically rolling them about half a turn one way and then the other so every night every morning give it what literally pull it one way and then at night push it back again it'll roll the eggs half a turn in there also we've got this little tray uh, which so we've no control of humidity um, but qu quail uh, eggs are, are quite easy apparently to to hatch out uh, and therefore we'll put some water in that tray at about the third day. So, that's our incubator. Looking forward to use it. I'll post some results, hopefully, in a couple of weeks of how it's gone on. Um, but so far, uh, it certainly looks to be maintaining uh, a good temperature. I've had it on now for, a, for an hour, and to be honest, when you're not messing around with it, you're not touching the lid, it pretty much stays at 37 degrees C uh, without with very little fluctuation. So stay posted, hopefully we'll see some baby quails.